guys and welcome back to another makeup tutorial your girl Sandra here let's go ahead and talk about this look it literally screams highlight tan skin dark bold lip and a sexy sultry eye which is literally what you should live for so if you guys are interested in seeing how I accomplish this makeup look let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial to prep my face just because it is a little dry I'm gonna go in with the Clinique moisture surge it's just this baby size one I got it for a Christmas gift and I've been loving it a little bit goes a long way so I'm actually thinking of purchasing the actual size because I love it that much but anyways we're gonna go ahead and use this on the face just to give it a little more Moisture. Primer today I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. This is in matte. I am a little bit more oily, so I do love using anything that will mattify my face. To add a little bit of glow onto the skin, I want to go ahead and use the Lumi Glotion. I've been obsessed with this. I literally use it every day. It is the perfect amount of glow that it gives onto the skin without making you look oily, especially for us oily girls. We kind of stay clear of anything like this just because we don't want to look oily in our pictures or just in person, but I promise you this has been amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and add this onto the skin as well. And to blend it out, I like going in with my damp beauty sponge. This one is from Mikasa, and I do have a discount code with them that I will link on the description bar below. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of their products, you will get 25% off. The foundation I am using today is going to be by Revlon. It is their Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. It looks just like this. And I just like applying literally onto the face. Nothing fancy. And I'm going back in with the beauty sponge. I'm just using this flatter side. I'm going to start patting it into this. and do my brows just because I don't want to look too insane when I'm doing my eye makeup. So for that, I'm going to be taking the Total Temptation Brow Definer. This is from Maybelline. I am obsessed with Maybelline products. I really, really do love them and I just keep finding new things to try out. So I decided to give this one a go. I really like that it's kind of like the Anastasia Brow Definer. It has the slanted tip on it and um, I have not used it yet so I just want to see how this works. So we're gonna go ahead and do our brows. prime my eyelids using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade light medium. I'm just going to apply a little bit onto the lids just to kind of give it a neutralized look and have um, something for the eyeshadow to stick on. And then I'm going to go in and set it with some translucent powder just so that it's nice and matte before applying our shadows. And then taking the Revolution Setting Powder, I'm just going to grab a little bit on the lid and then I'm going to dab my beauty blender in the corner of it and then I'm just going to apply that on the lids just to set that concealer in place. Onto the eyes and creating the eye look. I do want to use some scotch tape um, and do that perfect cut cat eye because why not facilitate your life if you're doing your makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before getting started on the eye I am gonna do one eye at a time and I'm only gonna show one eye just because it makes this video a lot quicker so for today's look I am using the naked heat 
palette. I recently got this as my Valentine's Day gift from my boyfriend and I absolutely am excited about using this. Um, these are definitely my shades. I would love, I definitely love using all of the warm tones and shimmers so we are going to play with those today. The first color that I'm going to be picking up, it is called Sauced and it is this one in the palette right here. And I'm just going to work that onto the lid as my transition shape. And I'm going to be applying it with a Morphe M535 brush. Um, this just really distributes the color evenly and it doesn't give me any harsh lines or deposits the product like in one specific area. So we're going to get started. But just continue to build up that color. We just want to make sure all of the shades pop. Picking up the color Cayenne, which is this one in the palette right here. I'm going to be using that um, to deepen up and warm up the crease a little bit more. So I'm going to be applying that a little bit lower than our transition shade. And I am switching brushes. I'm going to be taking this one from Mikasa and that's my E320. I love this brush for getting in the crease but like keeping it low and really really deepening up that um, crease color. So I'm going to be keep this color low too because we don't want to lose our transition shade. I do want to have like a smoky blown out soft wing so I'm going to start working on the outer corner. I'm going to be taking the color En Fuego which is this one right here. And with the same brush, I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner of the eye. And then whatever is left, you can drag it onto the rest of the crease. brush I'm gonna be going into the palette and using the color ember which is this color right here I'm gonna start giving myself that cat eye look um, using that eyeshadow and if we are gonna be using eyeliner later I just want to have that smoked out effect precision shader brush it looks like this I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off using my Mikasa um, quick change brush cleaner this is literally a lifesaver when you are doing multiple colors especially smoky eyes because you want to make sure all your brushes are, are clean and you literally just like run your brush through here and it cleans it up for you and it removes any products so this is also on their website. It is an awesome thing to have if you guys are interested. Again, I have a discount code that will be on the description bar. But yeah, I'm gonna be taking the color Ashes, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna start placing this on the outer half of my eyelid, just kind of starting to make that lid just pop a little bit more. want to use this color called Scorched. It is like a shimmery, pinky, orangey tone. I want to do that before applying um, the inner corner color. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this and applying it on the center of the lid. Inner third of the eye, I'm going to be taking the color Lumbre, which is this one right here. It's just a peachy, shimmery shade and I just want to make sure it's nice and light in that area so I'm going to go ahead and pick up that color using the same brush. The E320 brush from Mikasa, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the color 
sauced and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out any harsh edges just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. just a small pencil brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the color Ounce, which is this white color right here on the palette. And I'm just gonna start applying that on my brow bone and on the inner corner, just to add a little bit of light to the look. And do a wing liner. This one is from e.l.f. I love using this one because it is super black, it doesn't fade and I really like the felt tip on this one. It is flimsy and it makes it so easy to create like the most perfect thin wing liner instead of a super thick one. Um, we don't wear lashes, well at least I don't, so having a thinner line helps my lashes look fuller than if I was to have an intense thicker eyeliner. Okay, so now that our eyes are halfway done, I went ahead and did this eye off of camera, but this is what I came up with. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under the eyes. I'm gonna be taking this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Prime and Eye Brightener. It is like a salmon shade, and um, this is just gonna brighten up under the eyes just for applying our, applying our concealer. So I love this step, especially if we're going for a full coverage glam look. You wanna make sure this area is nice and bright. Also, the colors are a little bit more on the darker side, so we would just wanna make sure that there is enough brightness under the eye. When you're blending, be really careful with this area over here, just because that's the whole purpose of the tape. We used it as a guide, so we don't wanna go ahead and ruin that. Going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape, I'm just gonna go ahead and place this under my eyes. And I'm just gonna add a little bit because a little bit goes a long ways. This is definitely a full coverage concealer, so I just don't wanna look cakey. a little insane but I think it's just the lighting on my camera um, in person it does not look this light but we are gonna go ahead and contour and bronze so at the end of the day this will all look just fine don't you worry so I'm not gonna go ahead and set this yet I am gonna go ahead and contour using the um, wet n wild makeup stick it's the contour shade in where's walnut I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of this onto the areas where I want a little bit more warm. As you can tell, I am definitely not perfect with this. I just grab it and go. To blend it out, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush with the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dab it on my hand and then start blending this color out with a stippling brush. I'm just taking an angled brush um, and I'm going to start just blending that nose contour out. In the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder, I'm going to be using this to um, set that concealer. Love this powder because it really does the trick when it comes to brightening up that under eye area. It doesn't give me any flashback. 
and it doesn't feel cakey. It's super fine and soft. It has no smell. It's literally the best. To bronze up my skin today, I'm going to be using this one by Revolution. It is the Ultra Bronze Bronzer. And I just love this one because it has a nice color to it and it is matte. And I just love setting my contour right after. So I like using this bronzer. And I'm not rubbing it, I'm just patting it because I don't want to disturb any of the product that we have applied and make it look patchy. And taking that same angled brush we use for our nose contour, I'm just going to tap it into the bronzer and just set our nose contour as well so don't forget to do that part. in and clean up under my contour just to kind of define those cheekbones a little bit more so I'm gonna take anything that's left over from that powder on a elf contour brush and I'm just gonna press it and create a line to clean that up to finish the eyes I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same colors that we used on our lids to do our lower lash line. And so I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna go in with low glow and then make my way with the different colors. and do my mascara off camera, but I'm gonna be using my go-to, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and then the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express. I'm gonna be putting these two together as usual, and I'm gonna go ahead and come back once our lashes are done. Okay, so now that we have coated our lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Eyeliner. This is in bronze. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the waterline. angled brush just go ahead and kind of smudge that in to fully smoke it out for blush today I'm gonna be doing something pinky and flushed since the focus is gonna be mainly on the lips and on our eyes I want to make sure that we're not too bright everywhere so I'm gonna be taking this one it's from Tarte and it is in the shade dazzled and it's just a nice pinky color so I really love this shade so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with an angled brush. Just pat it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick. I want to go ahead and prep my lips. I'm just going to take this Juice infused lip oil from Ulta. I'm just gonna apply this on the lips. And this big highlighter um, called Luna. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just generously. It's not super bright, it's more like a sheer. Um, so I'm just gonna apply that on the high points of my face. using powders I am gonna go ahead and set my eyebrows this is my go-to it is the Maybelline brow precise it's definitely my favorite so I just like sticking to what I know until I find something new it just has little baby fibers and um, I don't have like super thick bushy brows so I really love this product so you just apply this generously just brush it on the brow just to set it and it is in dark brown or deep brown so it does add a tint to the brow as well. I'm 
So last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the makeup look by doing our lip color. So for today's combo, I'm gonna be lining my lips using the NYX um, Suede Matte Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Cherry Skies. It's my go-to for like a dark lip. I always like to outline before applying my lip color just because I wanna make sure that I stay within the lines and that I don't look all crazy. And to fill that in, I am gonna be using this ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in collab with I Love Sarai, and it is in the shade Mamacita. It is definitely my favorite um, bold, dark, vampy color as of right now until I find another one, <laughs> but this is what I'm gonna be using today on the lips. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the lip color. It is definitely a little bit more on the bold side, but I love rocking this color. Um, to set our face today, I'm going in with the Revolution Makeup Revolution London setting spray. This is oil control. So if you best believe I'm all about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. And that sums up the look. 